What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today, I'm going to hit you up with my thoughts and opinions on this Tedpool project called No Cable. Now, Tedpool is from the DMV Landover, Maryland, and if you want to find out more about him, just take a look at the information box I got for you underneath this video. Now, just by looking at his name, Tedpool, looking at the cover, and just even listening to some of these tracks, you can tell that you're in for a very fun and silly project. This is all quite goofy. There's nothing here that's overly serious, so you can't take it too seriously. Unfortunately, I didn't really find that the humor on this was that hard-hitting or clever or interesting. It's mostly just a lot of low-brow humor that's very forced. I do like the idea that he was going with. It is something a little bit different. But again, the humor wasn't really anything that was top tier. Like, it didn't have me doubling over in laughter. So that was something that I wasn't really big on. And the other glaring factor here is that he is really influenced and inspired by Eminem. Now, I do know everybody has an influence or an inspiration when it comes to their art, but it is so blatant on here that it really doesn't leave much as far as creativity and originality go. So, for example, you will hear some of this influence on songs like The Tonight Show, where he's flowing just like Eminem. Then on the track called The Interview, he actually edited up an interview with Eminem. He just took one of his old interviews and kind of chopped it up. And on Ladies and Gentlemen, he really is going in like Eminem. He sounds just like some of that classic Eminem, the way he's piecing his flows together and rapping. So, you know, this isn't something new to me. I've heard a lot of underground rappers try to emulate Eminem and also Hobson. So that was something that really held this project back. It does have sort of an interesting idea, like overall, like the idea of Tedpool just taking this character and coming through with a bit of a concept. But I don't think the execution here was that strong. But if there are any positives here, it's that you do get some pretty cool concepts. For example, on Petty Teddy, you're getting this Voodoo Child sample with the guitar. I thought that was very interesting. And this is just a track about how petty he is, including getting a rich girl pregnant just to keep her. So I did think this was one of the more interesting moments. And then on the song that's called 70s Pornography, we're making use of some very cleverly placed samples here. So for example, he says, uh, a girl can hop on his fence and ride his stick until she comes to conclusion. So obviously the parts I'm saying with emphasis are the samples. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. I remember Devin the Dude actually did that on his Just Trying to Live album as well. So you know, it's not the most original concept like someone has done before, but let's be honest, man, everybody's done everything. So still thought this was a pretty cool idea. And I don't know if it was based on that track or not. There's also another song on here that's called Another Song. And the concept here is that it's just another song, man. He's kind of poking fun at filler tracks. So some of these ideas are interesting, but unfortunately the production isn't very strong throughout here. There's a lot of audio quality issues as well. And again, the rapping is just very unoriginal and some of the bars are forced. One of the beats that's actually the best on here is Kid Rocks. This one has, oh, it's not Kid Rocks. I'm not saying Kid Rock. What am I talking about? Bob with the daba talking about kick rocks is what it's called. Uh, this one has a boom bap jazz feel to it. I thought that was pretty dope. But again, you're getting some of those cringy bars where the opening line is about farting in your hand in order to give yourself a stranger. Like, you know, that's the type of humor you're going to get on this thing. Humor is subjective, just like music. So maybe you like that type of shit and it'll be hilarious to you. But to me, I find it's very hard to blend humor and hip hop. Like it certainly can be done. A lot of the greats out there have done it and do it. But I just don't think this is an instance where it really worked that well. So you know, at the end of the day, I'm kind of disappointed with this because I'm a little bit of a nerd. I'm a bit of a goofball myself. I know I can be cringy at times. I'm not trying to say I'm one of the best humorists or reviewers or anything in the world, but I just thought this would have been a bit better. Like, I like the idea of taking Deadpool and making a project around him, but just sonically, this wasn't that great. Didn't find it that funny. It was lacking in great production, great audio quality, and the lack of originality as far as his style was kind of hurting. So for me, this is a 1.5 out of 5, unfortunately. Didn't really like this one much. I mean, check it out. Maybe you'll like this more than me. You might find it funnier than me. Maybe you'll find the Deadpool thing a lot better than I did. But I just didn't think this was a great album, man. Not being harsh here. It is what it is. But that's all I got to say about it, man. You guys can check it out for yourself in the comment section. Make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff. You know where I'm at. So show me love and show me lots of it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.